take a look at finding the mean on an HP 40GS. First thing I want to do is I want to input these numbers. So I'll push my applet button. And I want to either up arrow or down arrow. But you, either way, you want to find the statistics one. And press enter. Comes up with our place to input numbers. Now, if you already have numbers here, like if you have 5 and 2, for example, if you highlight 5 and press your delete, it'll clean it out. And then if you highlight 2 and press delete, it'll clean it out. Okay, now we're going to input these numbers, pressing enter after each one. So I do 13 enter, 19 enter, 23 enter, 31 enter, 45 enter, 46 enter, 47 enter, 51 enter, and 53 enter. Now after you get those input in, uh, you see down here at the bottom it says edit, insert, sort, big. It says one var. If you push the button straight below that, it'll change to two vars. And then if you push it again, it'll change to one var. Now below the stats, that's the one we want. Uh, one var is, by the way, you got one column, so that's one you want. Uh, the stats, if I push the button below that, comes up with this. And if I down arrow, this one that says mean and it has sigma on it, uh, that's our sample mean. And you see rounded two decimal places would be 36.44. If I down arrow, you'll see other options down there. I think it goes down to max. And then once you're done uh, viewing that, you click the button below the OK, and then you can push the home to go back to your, your home screen. In this uh, video, we took a look at how to find the mean on an HP 40GS calculator.